Now to new developments from yesterday's bridge collapse in Pittsburgh. Investigators are learning more about what led to that bridge giving way. Here's ABC's Elwin Lopez reporting from the scene there. The National Transportation Safety Board is on the scene in Pittsburgh trying to determine the cause of Friday's bridge collapse. The collapse happening just before 7 a.m. School openings were delayed by two hours due to the weather. A lot of screaming and static on the phone stating the bridge fully gave out. Traffic was light at the time. Just five cars and this bus were on the bridge. As I was driving across it, in my mind, I, I knew the bridge was collapsing. I could just feel it. Uh, the bus was bouncing and shaking. Miraculously, no one was killed. Ten people, mostly first responders, suffered minor injuries. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation says 14,500 vehicles travel over the bridge daily. The overall condition of the 52-year-old structure was listed as poor during its last inspection in September. And I walked under it all the time and saw the rust and decay, and that's pretty typical in Pittsburgh. The collapse happening just hours before President Biden arrived in Pittsburgh to tout his trillion-dollar infrastructure bill. Pennsylvania is ranked second in the country for deteriorating bridges. After seeing the destruction firsthand, the president saying his administration will, quote, fix them all. We got to move. The next time, we don't need headlines saying that someone was killed when the next bridge collapsed. And I spoke to a woman who said her little brother would have been on this bridge had it not been for that two hour school delay. Officials reiterating how this could have been so much worse. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.